We're walking. We're walking up a mountain. We're gonna see the top. Never gonna quit, and we never gonna stop. <laughs> no, we're not gonna stop. I'm gonna get real sweaty. I'm gonna get real tired. My quads are gonna burn, but I'm gonna make it all the way top. Where are we going? What is that? What is? Oh, that's where we're going. It's like a, you know, it's like a place. It's a place you can go. It's kind of old, you know. Yeah. It's got some, got this some history. history. You know, my favorite thing is they're always renovating. You know, they've always got new stuff at the Acropolis. You know, it's always fresh and updated. I love that. They're always, they're always thinking about what they can add. It's really exciting. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So, that's the plan. See you at the top. Oh man, oh man. We're not even halfway. We're not even halfway up. We still gotta go up there. It's crazy. You know what they say, go where the Wi-Fi signal's weak. <laughs> Have you heard that one? Have you heard that one? No. You know, it's like, it's like uh, that saying, not all who wander are lost. Yeah. Go where the Wi-Fi signal is weak. Okay. What's the saying? Uh, okay, I'll take your word for it. Oh, God. <laughs> New place. It's the original amphitheater for Beyonce. It's beautiful. <laughs> but I literally can't. This is why she's the queen. <laughs> I get it. I get it. She's a goddess. No, but it's really, it's really cool. It's really cool. Oh, this is what they're talking about. Could you imagine having an actual concert here? They're, they're doing the plays. Here. Oh, here? This is where they're doing the yeah, plays? Yeah, that's what uh, Viorico was saying. Oh, wow. You can see. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm getting whistled at. Someone yeah. thinks I'm cute. <laughs> so, back there is Mars Hill, and that's pretty cool. And then behind us, it's the Acropolis. You kidding me, Joy? You kidding me? Wave hi, Tiffany. Ah! <laughs> Take me to another high. So this is the Acropolis. We're here. Look at that. I just, to me, the idea that something is like thousands and thousands of years old is just insane. <clears throat> it, uh, it really puts in perspective time and just how small our experience is. I know that's so cliche to say, but um, it, it really is overwhelming, you know? Just like especially being an American where things are so, so young and so new. Seeing something that's been around for so long and has such a rich history is Pretty incredible. Joy. Yeah. Hey Joy, did you know that in Greece is where they invented the first Lego pieces? How cool is that, Joy? Joy, that's wild. <laughs> so that... Is that it? Yeah. That's the Acropolis. That's Athens. And this is Mars Hill. That's insane. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is, but that's, that's crazy. Absolutely nuts. What do you think, babe? So cool. <laughs> Look dignified, yeah. Well, that, that kind of roots. <laughs> what is this? Are you okay? <laughs> wake up, wake up. <laughs> oh, it's a video. I'm not doing it. 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 I'm not this is going in the vlog. I had three plates of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> you are a noodle. You're a cute noodle. You know what's funny is uh, you can see us both in the same shot now. You know why? Because I'm on the I'm on the street. She's on the curb. What? I can't put that in the vlog. <laughs> it's gonna go in the vlog. <laughs> so we're going to see if my good friend Dimitri. Look at this car interrupted my vlog time. We're gonna go down to this bar around the corner to see if my good friend Dimitri is there. He's not my friend. He's not my friend. I almost got run over by a car. 
uh, but he is my intern, Bradley's friend. <laughs> Look, see, now you're the right size. There you go, better. <laughs> um, I, guess, I guess Bradley used to go to this bar every day when he was in Greece, and so I'm gonna try and go and see if I can meet Dimitri and get him to make me an old-fashioned. I hear he makes a mean old-fashioned. But we just had dinner, we went to the Acropolis, we went to Mars Hill, we did some shopping in downtown Athens. Everywhere you look, there's cute kitties. That wasn't even planned. It wasn't even planned. <laughs> We're coming home with like three extra cats, I swear. I swear, there's no way around it. <laughs> but uh, this is day, what is this, day five? It's day five. It might be day six of the vlog, I don't, I don't know. But um, <laughs> we've lost track of time. <clears throat> navigated the metro and navigated the buses on our own yeah. uh, after having two glasses of 50% alcohol Uzo. Uzo Black, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> it was honestly delicious. I'm going to be real with you. All right, well, we're here at the bar. It's just around the corner. So uh, I'm going to get a drink and let you know if I can meet Dimitri. Bye. It's Dimitri. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'll send this to him later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Now, this next part is kind of long, but I left it in because I think it's kind of interesting for those who are interested in it. So the reason that we're in Greece is because of a connection with the Greek Bible College. Um, and so they really took care of a lot of expenses for us to be able to take this trip and to be able to record some content. Uh, so of course, a lot of the stops were very Christian religion oriented. And so this next clip is actually the professor reading from the book of Acts because Mars Hill is where the apostle Paul went to begin preaching to the Athenians the very first sort of apologetic message about the gospel. So it's just an interesting little history tidbit. No sort of religious context here. Take it or leave it for what you will. It's just interesting to be able to stand in places that have such historical significance, uh, whether you're religious or not. So uh, here it is. Uh, here's our professor. To the, to the Greeks. And so it begins, of course, O ye men of Athens. It, it's the beginning of the apologetic. So I'm going to read to you from the book of Acts. We're going to talk about just really briefly, and then we're going to head up the stairs, and you're going to get to go up to Areopagus, the Mars Hill. So, now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was provoked within him as he beheld the city full of idols. So he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and the devout persons, and in the marketplace every day. The marketplace is just down. When you get up here, you're going to look down there, you're going to see the marketplace. Uh, marketplace every day with them that met him. And certain also of the Epicurean and the Stoic philosophers encountered him. And some said, what would this babbler say? Others, he seemeth to be, a, 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 be setting forth a strange god because he preached Jesus and the resurrection. And they took hold of him and they brought him to the Areopagus saying, may we know what this new teaching is, what is spoken by you. For you bring certain strange things to our ears. We would love to know what these things mean. Now all the Athenians and the strangers sojourning there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear new things, new philosophies. And Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said, and this is what this says, O ye men of Athens, in all things I perceive that you are very religious. This is actually one way in which the King James actually does not capture what the word is. The word here is not religious, it's actually superstitious. I find you to be very superstitious people. For as I pass along and observe the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with the inscription to the unknown God. What therefore you worship in ignorance, this I set forth unto you. The God that made the world and all things therein, he being Lord of heaven and earth. This is actually taken directly from the Ode to Zeus, by the way. This part of this passage, his, uh, his apologia, his apologetic, is directly taken from the Ode to Zeus. This is not, he's not making this up out of his head. He's actually taking their own ideas and saying, hey, I'm gonna use it to argue for God. The God that made the world and all the things therein, he being Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made, this is where he switches it. He doesn't dwell in temples made by hands. Neither is he served by men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he himself give all life and breath and all things. This is also from the Ode to Zeus, by the way. All life and breath and all things. And he made of every nation of men that dwells on the face of the earth, having determined their appointed seasons and the bounds of their uh, of where they live, that they should seek God, if, hap if happily they might feel him 
and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, also from the ode to Zeus, by the way. For in him we live and breathe and have our being. This is actually from the Ode to Zeus. This is not something that Paul has made up on his own. He's quoting their own, he's quoting their own Greek sort of philosophy to them. He's quoting it right back to them. Um, uh, they that move and breathe, having determined their appointed seasons and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek God in happily ever after. For him we live and move and breathe, have our being as certain, even at, as if our own posts he has said, for we also are his offspring. Also from the Ode to Zeus, by the way. Being that the offspring of God, we ought to not to think that the Godhead is like a God that is worshipped with gold or silver or stone, graven by art and devices of man. The times of ignorance, therefore, God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent, inasmuch as he said the appointed day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he hath ordained where he has given him assurance unto all men, in that he has and will raise us all from the dead. Now when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked him, but others said, we want to hear more from you again. Thus Paul went out from among them, but certain men played to him, or stayed with him, and believed among them was also Dionysius, another Dionysius, their advocate, and a woman named Darnius. <laughs> and others with them. And that's the apologetic that, God, that Paul used to defend the faith. So, Acts 18, Acts 17, Acts 17, Acts 17. Okay, we're going to pray really fast. We're going to go up to Mars Hill. So God, thank you for this time. Thank you for this day. Thank you that we can be together. Help us to love. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go. Amen.